of ground pretty quickly on this bike because it's, it's pretty relaxing. You know, it's a fun bike. I'm not spending my time constantly watching the tack and watching the speedometer. I'm just having a good time driving it. I just like how easy it is to maneuver. Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. The subject today, obviously, motorcycles, Husqvarna motorcycles. You know, they're one of the most storied brands in motorcycle history. I think they're the oldest continuous motorcycle company since, what, 1902, 1903, something like that. Uh, they've got a new line of bikes out, and we're going to show you those in just a second here. Now, why are we doing this? Because they're a very small company. Uh, I have not been compensated in any way. You know, I always get these snarky comments, this looks like an ad. It's not. When you're a small company and you make a unique product, we like to showcase that on this program. If you've watched this show, you know that's what we do. You find small companies that can't afford to do big ads and stuff, and we, we like to help them get the word out, because I think they've got some really interesting stuff here. If you know anything about Husqvarna, you know they sort of lead the world in motocross, a lot of championships, a lot of history there. Well, now they're making road bikes, street bikes. I think it fills a market that nobody else is really filling right now. Let's bring in John Hines. He's the president of Husqvarna North America. John, how are you? Hey, good, Jay. Thanks for having good to me. See you. Now, yeah. you're not giving me a bike, correct? We're not getting no. any free here. We're just doing this because people get all snarky, you know. Hey, well, you got paid a million dollars for that. No, we didn't. We're just doing this because I think they're really cool. Tell us what we have here and what's the thinking behind this line of bikes. Well, what we've got here is the brand new 2018 Husqvarna motorcycles. This is the brand new 701 Vitpillin, and we have the 401 Vitpillin and a 401 Vitpillin. Vitpillin. Okay. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue. Catchy. Vitpillin. Vitpillin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those yeah. names. I got the Vitpillin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. This is the 401 Spark Pillin. You know, so actually, the the name comes from uh, Husqvarna Heritage. Right. So in 1955, Husqvarna released a, a model called the Silver Pillin, right. and that was a super lightweight, minimized. Uh, motorcycle for the street and it took off and, and actually started a new chapter for Husqvarna on the street side and so looking back at our heritage uh, they've taken some of that that naming and brought it forward for the introduction of these new street bikes. So obviously it was a deliberate move to go with big single cylinder bikes. Mm -hmm. We wanted to go back to the simplicity of motorcycling and really kind of get in touch with uh, simplicity of design and, and the essence of motorcycling itself, and singles deliver that. Well, They're the, lightweight. the thing I like about singles is you can zip through traffic easier. Yep. It's yep. not a big, wide bike. Uh, even, you know, I, I've ridden so many of these bikes and turn signals are way out here. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got a big four-cylinder engine, in some cases six-cylinder engine. So, and lightweight, which is kind of fun. Uh, what do these weigh? So the 401s are about 330 pounds, wow. and the 701 is 345 pounds. So it's super light, and like you said, makes them easy to ride, fun to ride, uh, just, just a joy to be part of motorcycling. Now 701, that's obviously the displacement? So 701 is, is the name of the motorcycle. It's actually a 693cc single cylinder. Okay, well, it's a 700. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Everybody rounds off. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Uh, and how many speed transmission? Uh, six speed transmission. Six speed, okay. So that's got to be the biggest single on the market, correct? It is, okay. in, in the most powerful. I'm curious to see how smooth it is. Uh, how, uh, how, how they handle that uh, in terms of... Uh, Counter shaft. What, what have they done here? Too? So there's there's two counterbalancers in the motor. Okay. Uh, so they've taken away a lot of the vibration from the motor, but one of the things they've done is kept the character of the motor. Okay. So uh, you know the the riding experience is still there, and riding a single cylinder is still there, but the vibration is gone. Okay. And these are 401. Once again, mm -hmm. the same deal. Yep. Close to 401, 400 cc's. Obviously, same thing. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. These are 373 cc's. Okay. And now, are those uh, six speed as well, or? They are six speed transmission. Um, you know, part of, part of entering the street segment, we wanted to connect with the past in mm -hmm. motorcycling and simple design and, and uh, kind of that simple approach to motorcycling and be, right. be very attractive to a lot of people. But taking it forward, everything has modern technology. So we mentioned the counterbalancers and the single cylinder and they have slipper clutches in them and their ride-by-wire uh, technology, so. Water-cooled as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, ABS and all that? Yeah. The, the bikes are uh, simple in design, but they're full of modern technology. And how many horsepower? Uh, the 701 is 75 horsepower. Wow, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the 401s are 44 horsepower. Okay. And this one only weighs what, 300? 330 pounds. Wow, okay. So nice yeah. commuting bike. Yeah, okay. nice and lightweight, great for urban environments, uh, urban style and, and design buyers. 
that's who we're uh, really looking to, to capture on, on these motorcycles. Now, are these being released just in America now or worldwide, or what's the story? So they're, uh, it's a global release, and uh, they're going to be in North America here starting in April, okay. uh, globally in March. Okay, because, boy, it's a, it's a tough market segment, isn't it? There's a lot of motorcycle companies are having trouble now, and, and it seems like it seems to be going to smaller, lighter bikes. I mean, mm -hmm. the big, heavy bike thing, everybody that wants one has got one. So you're trying to reach millennials, college yeah. students, that kind of deal, younger folks? For sure. Actually, yeah. uh, we feel that, that the bikes, with, their, with the style and design of the motorcycles, that it can attract a, a wide range of riders, uh, new riders, riders returning to the segment, um, hopefully uh, riders that just appreciate the, the pure essence of, sure. of motorcycling. And we think you know, the bikes are very approachable, so they have an opportunity. Would to you call this a standard bike? Would you call it a sport bike, canyon carver? What do you, what do you see it as? It's a, you know, a, a naked bike, primarily, right. okay. but taking a look at a lot of the naked bikes, they still have a very utilitarian design to them. Right. And I okay. think we've got a, a little, a little different take on that. Okay. I'm not sure what that answer was, but yeah, that was close <laughs> enough. That sounded pretty good. Uh, so it's a sport e-bike. You know, I think the best guy to answer that is going to be Andy Jefferson, our media relations manager. Okay, Andy, how are you? I'm good. Now Great I, day. Now you're an old motorcycle racer. Not that yes, old, I, but well, I pretty mean, old. From the yes, '80s. Yes. From the '80s. For sure. Okay. Now, were you racing in Husqvarna back then as well? I raced Husqvarna, yeah, in, okay. in the 1980s. I okay, raced cool, for a cool. while, for about four years for them, when it was uh, owned by a Swedish company. Right, right. So now they're what, Austrian? Austrian built, Okay, yes. okay, very cool, very cool. Now, how would you define it? These are in a class of their own. Right. The, these bikes, are, we're trying to find a de another demographic. Right. We're trying to find a, the person out there that is maybe not into motorcycling today. Maybe they're the style buyer. They're, yeah. They like style. They like products that... You know, they look at and they go, wow, that's a cool looking product. And right. that brings them to the motorcycle side. Right. If we as a community of motorcyclists, you know, we, we're all trying to go after the same piece of the pie. And we want to look outside of that okay. and try and go after different people that are out there that, like I said, are style buyers or, you know, these people that uh, maybe haven't ridden a motorcycle. We want to bring an approachable motorcycle. Now, but them. I'm thinking if you're not thinking Canyon Carver, or, you know, kind of boy racer type. A style person seemed like they would want somewhere to carry something on it, bags or whatever. Are there accessories for these? Yes, there's every okay. accessory, oh, okay. have bags and pipes and, you know, the, the whole, it runs a whole gamut of accessories. As you see on the, the smart panel and the, the little rack up there is for a tank bag. Oh, to right here. Yeah, to. I yeah. see. Okay. So, yeah, it is that bike that, yeah, you can go in the canyons. And then also you can take the bikes and you can ride them to your supermarket or to your coffee shop or whatever right, the right. case may be. Okay, very cool. You know? That looks like those are Brembo brakes, right? Yeah, and Brembo brakes, as, as you know, in the motorcycle industry are some of the best brakes possible, you know, that we can have on bikes. We also have all kinds of other products, as John said, the ride by wire. So that's a new type of thing. There's no throttle cable. It's an electronic feed off the, the handle gotcha. to go to the throttle body. And so that makes it more modern, but still, as you see, the bikes are more of a classic design. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Big single, fuel injected, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and 75 horsepower, that's impressive. Because 75 horsepower moving under 400 pounds, it's going to get you along there pretty quick. It's a fun ride. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah, these bikes run really well. We've had, um, we've had them, uh, like, I've, I'll say I'm the only person that's ridden this one. Yeah. I rode it on Saturday for a little while right. to take it around and break it in. And uh, I had a really fun time on some, as you said, Canyon Roads. And then I just came back to the office and uh, just went around to a couple of, you know, coffee shop areas. And What motorcycle would you consider your competition for this bike? You know, guy's going to look for a bike. Is it Yamaha? Is it more the esoteric, you know, Italian, BMW, what do you see? Is it European? What do you think? Yeah, I see the guys uh, with the Ducatis, um, you know, more of the European style bikes than, than right. the Yamaha mm -hmm. type, because this is more of a styling, you know, I think that that's that person that's looking for that. I think it's people that, uh, 
like Andy said, more the European uh, motorcycles because it's it's customers that are looking to be a part of lifestyling or uh, motorcycling lifestyle and culture uh, would be interested in. Now, in do you think most people call the 701 or the 401, or they'll call it that? What is the name again? It's the Fliegen, <laughs> the Fliegen Hyman. What is it? The the Vit Palin. Vit Palin. It, just, it yeah. doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> Vit Palin. That's why it just makes me laugh. Go, I got a Vit Palin. What? A Vit Palin. 701, oh, 701, that tells me yes. everything I need to know about the bike. Because yes. it's a big, Americans like big displacement, mm -hmm. you know? And they feel like they're getting more for their money the more displacement you get. So yeah. 701, and it's the biggest single on the market. I think it's the biggest single just about ever, isn't it? Pretty much. Pretty close. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm sure somebody right, Leno, you jerked it, you know, in 1952, they both, <laughs> but uh, as far as I know. So I'm anxious to drive and see how smooth it is, actually, because I'm amazing what they can do with counterbalancing and all that yeah, kind of and, stuff. And oh. as John said, the two counterbalancers in this motor really make it, it's smooth. Yeah. And it, it, but it does, by the same token, as you said, it still feels like a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't vibrate your hands. Because I used to have a BSA 441, and that was like driving a bass right. drum. <laughs> right, <laughs> gung, gung, gung. right. This thing just pounded down the road. It was hysterical. It really made me laugh. And what's your red line in this with this big single? Um, the red line on this one's about 7,500 and oh, okay. eight grand. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's a, that's a big piston moving pretty quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All yeah. right, very good. Cool. Which do you prefer, the 701 or the 401? You've ridden them both. I I like the 701. Yeah, me yeah. personally. But I mean, also my druthers would be uh, more of the Spark Palin. Uh, I'm more of a sit-up kind of guy because yeah, yeah. I'll say motocross and and riding off-road. Uh, this is more of the guy that's a street. I'll say yeah. a street racer wants to be a little more down. Uh, but for me, this 701, um, it sits up a little higher, so it's, yeah. it's nice. And you realize, if you say Druthers, is anybody under 30, not they're gonna not going to know what the hell you're talking oh, okay. about. Okay. You're, you're looking for Druthers, it's kind of like Vit Palin. <laughs> okay. I got a Vit Palin with Druthers, and then you're just going to lose the whole crowd there. So, okay. Yeah, I would lose the Druthers. Okay, I lose yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. That's like newfangled. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's another word you don't want to do. Is okay. or, or Jim Crankery. You don't want any of that. Yeah. But No, I mean, it's a really good looking bike. That's why I thought it would be fun to do this today. We're going to take it for a ride in just a minute here. But as I said before, you know, it, it's fun when new products get introduced, especially from old companies that have a lot of experience, like Husqvarna. So I'm really curious to see what this is like. If you've never driven a single cylinder motorcycle, it's really different. It's, 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 it's almost like a really fast bicycle. That's probably a bad analogy, but in terms of lightweight and how maneuverable it is, because I've, I've got a lot of big four cylinder bikes and boy, you do kind of have to muscle them a right. little bit. Mm -hmm. and, right. and I'm, I'm really anxious. You know, I've got some old single cylinder Ducatis from the 60s that are so much fun. Mm -hmm. You know, they used to make a 450 and you could just sort of zip through traffic. Right. So I'm really curious to try this. I'd like to try the 701. Well, enough talk. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, give it a try. I think this is going to be fun. Let's go for a spin. Take him outside. The running position is very comfortable. You know, it's amazing just how light it is. You forget what a light machine is really like. I know it's a single, but it feels like a twin. It's nice and smooth. The faster you go, the more the mirrors, like when it's idling, you see a little bit of vibration, but as soon as you rev the engine, those counterbalancers, well, they take out the vibration and the mirrors get really clear. It's kind of cool. I like the position of these handlebars. Not so far forward that it's putting a lot of strain on your shoulders, but it's nice when you get up to speed, you know, the wind on your chest kind of holds you up, so it's a nice balance. Doesn't throw a lot of heat, which is kind of nice. You know, that's kind of cool if you're in Austria, you like a motor that throws a little bit of heat. But in California, where it's always 100 degrees, this runs pretty cool. Now, we Americans are so used to these big, heavy, multi-cylinder motorcycles, we, we forget what a light bike is really like. I mean, this almost, it's speed, it feels like a bicycle, you know? And you're not so wide that you're, you can't cut between lanes and things like that. It really is enjoyable, and with 75 horsepower, that's more than enough. You save weight one cylinder, one disc in the front, you know, because you don't need more than that. You 
cover a lot of ground pretty quickly on this bike because it's, it's pretty relaxing. We're going through an area in LA here that was flooded not that long ago. So a lot of dust, a lot of mud on the ground. So these anti-lock brakes really come in handy. You know, you put your foot down, you can feel it working. You know, it's a fun bike. I'm not spending my time constantly watching the tack and watching the speedometer. I'm just having a good time driving it. I just like how easy it is to maneuver. Very nice. How about the performance? How was it? Well, you know, it's a bit of a revelation. It's like, uh, you ever see these people lose 50 pounds or 75 pounds and they can run faster and jump higher, you know? And that's what this is like. I'm so used to heavy vehicles. Uh, when I said before, it, it feels like a motorized bicycle, I meant it as a compliment because it just requires so little effort to change direction. You know, we live in an era now, it's like people think, a light car is 3,000 pounds. Then they drive my Lotus Elan, that's 1,258 pounds. Right. And they go, oh my God, you know. And it's the same thing with this. You get used to these, we assume 500 is the base number for most motorcycles now. Right. And then you get this and you're at 300. And, and uh, it's really, it's really kind of cool how quickly you can dart around. You know, it's that old Colin Chapman, add lightness, go faster right. kind of thing. And it really is a new kind of bike. And being a 700cc motorcycle, you've got basically the same power as a Harley right. without any of the weight. Right. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with it. It really drives and handles nicely. I mean, it really is, I think, a new segment of the market because the only other really small bikes are scooters or 125s right. or something. You know, this, is, this feels like a 125 frame with a 700cc engine in it. So you could just sort of zip around. Well, one of the things about performance we talked about earlier is uh, the counterbalancers. Yeah. And this bike actually has two counterbalancers. Originally it was designed with one. Right. The bike had a little bit of vibration. They put another counterbalancer on the camshaft and, and on the crankshaft. So now uh, with these two counterbalancers, they can add a minimal weight at the top and it took away all of that minimal vibration that you had. It, uh, yeah. Also what it does, um, is it makes the bike turn over easier, so the bike runs a little freer. Right. Um, so that was another thing that it accomplished in doing that, you know. Because one thing, when this idles, in fact, let me show you what I'm talking about. You'll see a slight vibration in the mirror at idle, and then when you rev it up, the vibration goes away because it becomes smoother. In the right. old days, it'd be smoothest at idle, then and you then rev it up, you rev and, it up and, and, and right. you, For you sure. can't see anything. Right. Now you see a bit of vibration in the mirror, you can feel it. Now watch when I rev it up, vibration completely goes away, which is really kind of a nice feature because when you're traveling, you always want to know what's behind you. See, can you see the vibration now? It's a little blurry. Now watch. It's like putting on a pair of glasses, which is really kind of a cool feature. And a couple other performance uh, ish items that the bike has. One is the slipper clutch. The slipper clutch allows when you're braking, especially going into corners and you're downshifting, sometimes you have a bike that has back wheel chatter. You get wheel hop, which, bang, bang, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which allows the bike to get squirmy as you're going into a corner. Well, with the slipper clutch, it allows the clutch actually to slip. You don't feel it in performance. It only does it under braking that it slips. Right. Um, the way that you're braking and the wheel will not chatter. So it's a lot more control for you and you know the bike as you're especially as you're getting faster and faster around corners yeah the thing i like is it's really not much wider than my shoulders right you know i mean i've got a velisex thruxton a 71 i've got a bsa gold star so i like big singles in fact one day i got a thing at my house from welcome to british singles and my wife said what's this letter <laughs> i go yeah honey i'm in the british singles what's that all about right and i go no you see it it's single so <laughs> yeah, it, it was much funnier telling than it was right. at home. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah, really didn't see sure. any humor in that. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's really fun to see single cylinder, non-complex motor, and although it is complex, but at least simpler in design and, and application and use. It's really, uh, it's really quite impressive. It's really fun. I just like the fact that I can do this. Yes. And I can change direction because, right. I, well, I'm getting older, you know. So. 
the bikes get heavier. Right. And, you know, other bikes, you kind of have to bully it a bit. Whereas this thing, you just think your kind way around your corners. Body, yeah. yeah, you just yeah. move your body the way you want to go. It has a nice fluidity to it. It's, it's, a, it's really quite nice. Mirrors are nice and big. And again, you're not going to go in traffic and clip something because right, the, the bike is really not much wider than your shoulders. So right. very cool. Let me try. Can I try that one? Yes. Let me try the 400. Yes, for sure. I'm sure that's how much lighter than this one. It's about 20 pounds lighter. Okay, 20 pounds lighter. So I could skip a few lunches. Yes. And have and then, this bike with that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> So are they, are they, are they going to be competing with these bikes in a competitive sense or just strictly road no, bikes? No, strictly right now? road. Yeah. Um, more of the Husqvarna is, you know, our, you know, what we call how we do business is not, we love competition, but we're more into inclusiveness and bringing everyone in. So no, these bikes will not be a, in right, any right. kind of competition. It's all about trying to get more people to ride and bringing other people into the sport. Yeah, and I, I just know so many guys that live in apartments, and you can sort of bring this in the hall, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, right But up, it's huh? true. I mean, yeah, so, for sure. bikes are so heavy right. now. I mean, you go down, it's like two guys to lift it up, right. you know? In fact, one day up at the Rockstar, everybody goes, Highway Patrolman came in a big, giant Harley, you know, with all the stuff on it, and he fell over. And everybody's uh, laughing at him, up. and he went like this with one hand. Picked it up. Oh, oh, don't yeah. mess with that don't guy, mess right? With that guy. Yeah, don't that guy. This one guy, you can yeah. pick up by yourself. Come on, let's. Uh, I want to try this one. Let's give it a shot. Mike on the bike. discuss the price how much is now the 401 is how much the 401 both spark pale and vit pale and 401s are 62.99 right the uh, vit pale and 701 is 11.999 i had no idea how much fun it was being single again yeah yeah that, that's not a bad catch that's phrase. nice huh it's fun being single unless of course <laughs> your wife finds out see you guys later <laughs> bye bye Mm-hmm. <laughs>